Good evening, Facebook. How is everybody today? Happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend, guys. We've almost made it. So, if this is the first time that you have ever watched me or seen my face on Facebook, my name is Courtney Men's House, and I am a lead beauty guide with Limelight by Alcone. And I wanted to pop on tonight and just kind of share my story a little bit. Um, I've had some messages and had some people inquiring, Hey Mandy, why in the world I chose Limelight by Alcone? Because if you've been following me with my journey for a while and, my, and being on my Facebook, you, you all know that I was with the previous company before. I was with It Works Global. And I sort of just kind of up and left them. Um, thank you, Jennifer. It's actually a mix of my own. It's the cupcake mixed with the sugar plum. And a little bit of my that number four blush that came back, I patted it right on top. I had to tell you what that was. I knew somebody would ask me, so I had them near. <laughs> but um, I wanted to get on here. I'm not like here gonna sit here and like bash a different company. That's not what I'm all about. I'm all about finding the right company for you, finding the company that you will thrive in, finding the company that will make you feel at home. And I've found that here at Lomlot. Um, the ladies and there's a few gentlemen within our team are amazing. I have met some people that I feel like, even though we've never met in person before, that we've known each other for years and years and years. So that to me is amazing. Um, and probably the best part, I was kind of looking to be a part of something um, where I felt part of a team again. Um, coming from marching band, and yes, I was a marching band geek. Um, coming from something like that and having Jeff Ware as, a, as our band director, he really instilled in us the, the purpose, feeling the purpose of being a team player. And I was missing that for years. Um, I just, you know, I didn't feel like I was part of something anymore. And when you're with something like an organization like band, or if you're in other sports, you can probably relate to this. Um, you get used to having your part, showing up, doing your job. And when you become a stay at home mommy, like I did, you kind of are in your own little world. So for me, finding something that was just, just for me, you know, I love my babies. Don't get me wrong, but mommies have to be happy too. So when I found something, when I found Limelight, I just knew, I just knew. I have been watching my sponsor, um, Ashley Will. She's amazing. I was watching her actually with her previous company, um, before and I saw an almost like an instant change in her confidence. I saw a change in her um, makeup and skin from the products. I mean, I, I watched her change literally before my eyes. Like her enthusiasm is still the same as the day she signed up, and she's been without Limelight for probably well, it'll be a year in August. And I just, I've been, I watched her and I watched her for months and I just knew, I was drawn to this and I just knew that I needed to be a part of this. So I started messaging her and we hit it off instantly. She knew exactly, um, exactly what I was talking about. And she also understood me needing to be home with my kids and still be able to help my husband with bills. I mean, it just... It made sense so I don't know how many of you know I was destined right after high school to I started beauty school and I absolutely loved it um, but I didn't finish um, I was married before Cecil and he was in the military so we we uprooted and went where they told us to go and I just, I kept saying, well, I'll just go to school in that state. I'll just go, you know, I'll just finish when we got down there. But that didn't happen. I ended up 
working and kind of finding my, my niche with retail and I fell in love with working in retail. Um, moved up very quickly at Bath and Barter store in Biloxi, Mississippi where we were living and I absolutely fell in love with, with retail and helping women. Thank you. And helping women and men find what they need for their skin. Like I was really into not just the smelly goods when I worked there. I really dug into they gave us skincare classes and stuff. Um over I smeared my stuff. They gave us skincare classes and stuff with um Bath and Body Works. Like the aromatherapy collection was my jam. I loved the CO Bigelow line. They're more like what Limelight has to offer. Tons of essential oils, tons of really good um good for you products just all of that good stuff so I really dug into that and love found my love for skincare again after not finishing school um, I never was much on makeup I never was I, th I didn't think that I could apply it I didn't think that I could try new looks and um, I was told I couldn't wear dark eye colors because my eyes were dark oh just things that you hear growing up and things like that. Um, and I think part of it had to do with the quality of the products that I was using. Um, because I just couldn't get them to blend dry and I just thought it was me. I thought it was the technique I was trying. You know, and some of it I'm sure is user error. You know, but when I, I don't know. I don't. I can't describe it like my confidence has just been boosted with this makeup and being a part of this company um everything blends super easy everything just may I don't know my confidence is up I'm trying to figure out how to describe it and it's really hard to pinpoint something when you just feel happy um you know, I've met amazing people through this journey. There's Jade. She's one of them. Um, she um, was a part of my team for a little bit. And we probably wouldn't have talked if I if I didn't, you know. There's another one going across us here. Um, <laughs> another heart. I've met so many wonderful people. Um, all my team are not. They're, they're encouraging me. They're, you know, they tell me to keep going. They're supportive. They watch my videos. They share my videos. I, I mean, I just can't get over it. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, our little community is amazing. And we're so uplifting to each other. Like, we all try to support each other in whatever business that we're, we've got. And I love that. But for me and my family, I've joined Limelight to help with the bills number one I had no idea what a change it was going to make in me I, I had no idea I mean the money's great but that's that's just icing on the cake now for me um I feel like me again I, I have a purpose um uh and you know being a mom is a purpose but you know sometimes you have to have something that's just for you and I have a passion again for helping people. And, you know, some of my customers have battled skin conditions for years, been to doctors. They've tried everything under the sun. And they, they give Lime a lot of chance. And I'll get messages that'll say, my skin has never felt this smooth. And they're telling me that they are in tears after using the products. My mom's skin... <laughs> This is just amazing to me. She has always had drier skin. And I think some of it has to, you know, it's a side effect from just some of her medications that she has to take. And we got her the, for dry skin. Oh, Mary, I'm trying not to. <laughs> We've tried, um, we tried her on the Quench Collection that I was using and she fell in love with it and her skin's never looked as good as it does I mean it's been years 
and she is so happy and she gets compliments on her skin all the time now. Um, her friends at church tell her that she looks like she's glowing now and she's like, it's the only thing I've done is change my skincare to something that doesn't have chemicals in it. And she's just, I mean, she doesn't need any more chemicals. My kids don't need chemicals. You know, we're cruelty free. I know that 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 was big to Mary when she she came to me and was talking to me about stuff and just tried things. Um, she's a very big animal um, rights person, and I, I'm with her on that. And that that was important to me too. But my I don't know. My mom's confidence has just. She's such a beautiful person. Um, she never needed makeup or anything and she's always taught me to try to be comfortable in my own skin but the fact that she feels amazing now makes me feel amazing you know she was noticing her skin was just not how she she just didn't feel pretty and I've even got her using lipstick my mom that doesn't wear makeup okay she's bought lipstick because she feels pretty now it's this color right here it's not really a color you know mom's mom was using using that but it's enough to make her feel pretty and little things like that make me happy um i love love that i love helping people feel good in their skin again and if i can do that by sharing some products with you that I've fallen in love with, then that makes, that makes, means the world to me. It's not just about a paycheck to me. If, you know, if you guys are having dry skin, if you guys have eczema, rosacea, any, any skin condition, that, that's where I thrive. I love finding out what the, what the star ingredients do in my products. I love knowing what they're going to do for you. That, that's where I thrive in. And that's my favorite. Um, I love, I just love being able to help people. And I've tried so many different professions. Uh, I, where I love helping people, I thought um, healthcare would be a good, a good option for me. And I tried being a CNA for a while. And I don't know, I think that maybe I care a little too much because I worked in nursing homes. And if anybody has ever worked in a nursing home, you know exactly what I mean when I say that. It's extremely hard. And you get extremely attached um, in that in that field. And it just, God bless the people that can do it and love doing it because it is a very hard job. And so it took me a long time to figure out what who Courtney is and what Courtney wanted to do. And yes, I've always, I wanted to be a mommy and you know, the Lord's blessed me twice and I wanted to be a, a wife and I've got a wonderful husband. He's sitting over there, but I felt, I still felt like I needed to find something. And I have seen Lamont do some amazing things for people. I have seen it and if I can just help one or two people either feel great about their self, feel good in their own skin again, um, help them learn how to do what I do so they can stay because they need to stay home, they need an income, but it doesn't make sense to pay babysitters. Um, I know all about that. So if I can help anybody in any way, that, that to me is why I do this. That that's why. Um and I do it for my kids. I I do it so I can provide for them. Heaven forbid something ever happened to my husband. You know, we're not guaranteed anything. And I think every woman should be able to provide for their family regardless if they have a wonderful marriage or not, regardless if they have everything that they need, you still need to be able to provide for your kids ahead and forbid something happen. So 
that's where I come from, my, my girls. They're why I do everything that I do. They're why I stay up until 2 a.m. watching makeup trainings so I can bring them to you. They are why I work, <laughs> you know. And in their situation, I need to be able to have backup. I have to do... I have to have, you know, backup. You know, their their insurance is pretty good, but I have to be able to... I didn't know I was even going to get emotional. I shouldn't even put makeup on. But I have to be able to get their testing supplies just in case. You know, just in case something happens and something lapses or like they just sent me a thing in the mail that they're switching um, meters so I've got to apply for a new meter and all this stuff so I want to be able to be able to provide for that and any of you all that have kids or have spouses or families or even just you you know I mean it's a tough world so I know that everybody works for a reason Everybody has to find their purpose and and their reason for doing anything. And for me, it's my kids. You know, I, I could be perfectly content, but I want them to be so, I want them to experience things too. Like, I was thinking back on my childhood and I didn't want for anything but we didn't get to take very many vacations or anything like that, mainly because of time scheduling and and work and things like that. But I want to be able to take my kids places and do things with them and go on a whim. And if I work from home, you know, if my husband has the time off and I work from home, we can just up and go. You know, that, that that's another park for me, so... I know I've been on here and rambling and crying and <laughs> probably not making much sense when I do that, but, you know, that that's why. That's a little bit, you know. I have people asking me constantly why direct sales and why not. We're the future of retailing. I'm, I'm just here to tell you that there are more and more stores closing to be online only. BB's one of them. Marc Jacobs has started downsizing um, to be mainly just online retailers because for them it makes better business sense. Um, our partners, L'Occitane, their CEO actually told um, our CEOs that that's not how things are done in France and it intrigued them and they looked into us and they studied us and they watched us and they think that I mean that's literally what they said we we're the future of how retailing is going to be we just are and you know like for instance Lena she can bring you a boutique right to your house and set it up for you I'll bring you the makeup counter. We're di all of us together are different parts of a department store. So if you get us all together in a vendor show, you have a department store right there. Usually also with handmade stuff and good food and fellowship and all kinds of things. So, I mean, for, I don't know, for such a big company to, to look at America and be like, you know, how we're doing things and look at direct sales and see that we're the like, kind of the future of things. It's kind of, that's a big deal. I'm going to read some comments. Let's see. Yes. Yes, Lindsay. I agree. And, you know, what, what better way to do it than with a product that you can really get behind? Cynthia. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you what that is. That is called professional makeup <laughs> set with the setting spray. When I tell you all that you need setting spray in your life, 
I ain't kidding. Because <laughs> I had been crying and I've got, I've got eyeliner on kids <laughs> and it ain't going anywhere. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, you all cracked me up. But that, that's, that's why, you know, I was moving back up in retail before my kid's diagnosis, um, and I loved my team with Air, I was working with Air Postal in Huntington, and, you know, many of you know that most of their stores have, have shut down, um, Huntington wasn't one of them, they're still open, and I had just applied, and was accepted for a promotion when my girls got sick. So, um, so when they got sick, I had to make the decision, a tough decision, you know. I was finally feeling like I was back a part of a team and everything, you know, and you work, when you work in a store like that, they become a family too, and, you know, if you've never worked retail, then you probably don't won't understand it and um, but you put in long hours when you're at retail it is it, pretty much like any job that you have long hours and when you're in management in retail that them four or five girls and guys that you work with you work with them almost every day every shift you have another manager there and you um, just become like family and I still go visit them at the store and I still I still love all those girls and it just happened at a time to where I kind of felt bad for even thinking that it wasn't fair that I had to decide to what I was going to do so I was I going to stay home was I going to still try to work around my husband's schedule who was going to take care of the kids if like I couldn't get to work and it's not just like finding a babysitter now. We have to find somebody that's comfortable enough to check glucoses and things like that. And it's hard. It, it's doubly hard. I mean, we were picky before with um, child care and it's, we're extra picky now and we kind of have to be, but I felt so bad. I remember feeling like Everything wasn't fair and my whole world was crumbling down at that point. I, you know, I was so happy that we found out what was wrong with the girls and that we knew they were going to be okay. But, like, Chloe had just started getting used to school and, I mean, this was after Christmas break. And she was in preschool. She had just, I just remember, she had just started, like, really locking school. I mean, making more friends. Tara knows how hard it is. Um, she, you know, she finally just, I felt like she was finally feeling like she was comfortable and like she had a home. And then her sister got sick. And so she missed some school. And then she got sick. She maybe went back... She was probably back for about a week or so, maybe two, and then she got sick, and we decided to pull her out completely. Um, that was totally our decision. I mean, there's tons and tons of kids all over the world, United States, wherever, and they go back to school um, with their diabetes. I didn't feel like I could do that. Um, I just wasn't comfortable with it. She wasn't comfortable with it. She didn't, at the time, didn't really want anybody else in giving her injections but me. The whole time I gave her, I gave her the injections the whole time. The nurse would draw it out because she legally had to, to be there with me in training. So she would draw the dose out, but I did all the math for it. I did, you know, she'd double check me, but I did all the math. She... I, she would draw the medicine out and I gave every injection from the first one that she got after her IV came out until until now like there's been very few people um, she wouldn't let my husband touch her for a long time either just because she is most comfortable with me and so long story short here I am at home 
homeschooling my kids. Yes, yes, Tara. <laughs> right. And I, and I know that you understand that. And I want to send Chloe back, and I think about it. And sometimes she wants to go back, and then sometimes she, and then she remembers. She's like, well, who's going to check me? Um, who's going to give me my shots? You know, things like that. And for me, homeschooling is the best option right now. And working at home is my only option. So I, I came into this knowing that I didn't have the money for the kit. And I had a yard sale on Facebook. Um, sold off some LuLaRoe things that I had that I didn't um, necessarily like exactly how they fit me. But they could find a good home. I sold off some of the girls' items that, you know, didn't fit anymore. And, you know, no sense in holding on to them because we're, we're over done having kids. Um, <laughs> Two, two's enough. <laughs> um, two diabetic kids is enough. And so I, I raised the money that way. I got my, my money back. I had just rebought my contract. There's a yearly fee usually with most of these companies. And there was a yearly fee with It Works. And I had literally just clicked the button to keep being a distributor paid my paid my dues my fifty dollars and I decided that my heart wasn't in it I didn't believe in the products the way that I needed to because not because they're bad products but because they didn't work for me like like they needed to and I can't stand behind something that I don't think is going to work for everybody or you know that didn't really work for me um skincare and makeup's a little different when a color doesn't work for me doesn't mean that i don't see its potential in working for other people but when it's a, a weight loss product it's kind of difficult talking to people about that too because it's a touchy subject um and my heart just wasn't in that I, I don't want anybody to you know i want everybody to feel good and when like i don't know it just was not for me and I'm not knocking the girls and guys that do that and can make money at it you know more power to them um, keep going do what you do what you do do what you need to do but it definitely was not the right place for me and you know I kind of felt alone a lot of the time unless my sales were down or things weren't going the way that they needed to go and then I would hear from my my teammates my upline so that to me didn't sit right with me either and one of them was extremely nice on the way out when I was on my way out and told him what was going on um, one of them was a, not so nice um, and one of them that I thought was a closer friend than I guess that she was hasn't really spoken to me a whole lot um, since all of that but I still have friends from, from that team and from that company. But they are also girls that, that left. So now that I've found my company that I can back and fully, you know, see what it's done for other people and see the potential here and the opportunity and feeling it, seeing it, being able to pay substantial bills here at the house something I, mean, I know what I've got a hold of now and you know working from home is not for everybody it's definitely it's definitely worse some people think when you join these things that it it happens overnight and they get a little frustrated with you but that's that's not it um I work at this even when you guys don't see me on Facebook I'm working um, usually training so I can bring you all new looks I can bring you all tips and tricks I can learn and grow as a freelance makeup person because I have been hired out a little bit around here to do some makeup and I love it we do Keisha they don't know 
<laughs> they don't know. And I don't know how you girls like. I complain with my like maybe two bags when I go to vendor shows. And here you all come rolling in with your dollies full of bags. And I'm like, I, I couldn't do that. As much as I love clothes and I love Lula, <laughs> I couldn't pack all that stuff up all the time. <laughs> and I think about that all the time. But, I mean, I've got two bags full of stuff now. Maybe three of makeup. Might be a problem. But, with all that being said, my why is my babies. It's exactly why I joined. Um, and I really think if they get to a point where I feel like they both can go to school, um, I might go back to school too. Um, they... they this company has inspired me so much. I would really, really like to be an esthetician. Um, I'm looking into programming and funding and things like that now, but I love skincare and I love makeup and I think that the two would be perfect together. And it's funny because we have people on our team that are estheticians and they um, didn't ever want to like being married, so to speak, to one brand. Because when you're um, a makeup artist, you know, it's, it's best to have several different things in your bag. And the great thing about Limelight is, is they, they encourage that. They, you know, Limelight was made from all these different vendors. We don't, we don't just have like our warehouse where we pump out stuff. That's, that's not how we work. We have different vendors that make our products for us so we're getting the best of everything like top brands like when I tell you the foundation is from the RCMA it's from the RCMA like they make it it's not made in a warehouse for us they make it they ship it to us and I love that I love that I have pro quality stuff that is affordable that I can't get at Sephora or Ulta, like, I have options here. Granted, you drop me in, if you, you take me and drop me in one of those stores, I'm coming out with a bag, but can't help it. <laughs> I know what I like, and I use what I like, and, and Limelight encourages that. They don't, they don't want us to drink the Kool-Aid, so to speak, so I don't care a bit to ever recommend something that beauty product that I think is that I feel works better than what I what I carry, but or it's something that I don't have. Like for example, this is the only eyelash glue that I use. We don't have eyelash glue, but Duo is the only brand that I'll use. And I can tell you where to get it. I can tell you the best places to get it. And um, I can tell you the difference between the white and clear that I use or the one that's tinted black. And I don't care a bit to give you a recommendation. Um, my job, I feel, is to be as honest with you as possible with products like, I don't know, if I feel something's better or know something that we don't have yet at Limelight, I'll totally tell you. Like, and you can ask people. I have, I've done it before, I've recommended different foundations for people that didn't like how this was doing for them which is rare, but I've done it. Um, I have favorite mascaras besides ours. Um, I do use ours the most, but you know, you get what I'm saying. So, in any reason, I feel like at Limelight, I can be me, and I can stay home with my babies, and I can be who I need to be in this world, and helping women and men feel better in their own skin that's worth more than gold to me and being a part of a team like these girls on this team I seriously feel like I've known them for years and some of them I have some of them I have but hey Amanda there's some of my girls popping on now <laughs> Stuff. Yeah, I'll message you, girl. Um, we can video chat or however you want to do it. There's one of my other girls, Hey Re. I would have never met her. <laughs> Some of these girls that are popping on right now. If it wasn't, it was like 
freak posts like yes Mandy Mandy I've known for years um we met when I was in Mississippi um she's kind of a native of the south down there and um she is a makeup lover like me her skills are like her eye high makeup skills are amazing I love watching her videos and I can't believe that, like, after all these years, we grew apart a little bit, mainly because I didn't have Facebook for a few years. I took a hiatus, and now I come back, and, you know, we refriended each other, and sharing pictures of our kids and stuff, and when I left her, she only had one baby. Now she's got two, well, she's got three. She's got three babies, so. So, we drew a friend to moth. You have a moth friend? Yeah, my name's Judy Updale. Oh, Julie Gibson, if you watch this every time that when they name things that they love, they name it after you. So she has a Julie moth that flies around outside is what she's talking about. (laughs) She does love Julie. And I always hug her. I know you do. The yellow one. Okay. Yeah, she's got yellow hair, she says. But... Don't bother that. I'll, I'll take your hair down in a minute, okay? Huh? They just got out of the tub. <laughs> I can't wait to meet him. Um, he reminds me. His personality is just so sweet. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm taken. <laughs> Maybe it's just this lipstick, Mandy. Do you think it's the lipstick? Because I mix cupcake and sugar plum. I think maybe that's what it is. <laughs> but, um, at any rate, I mean, I've, I've just, I don't know. I've just, I found my place. So, and it's funny to me because I sit here talking to you guys and I have anxiety. Like, I have social anxiety. I've battled it for years. I'm sitting here, I'm playing with my hands a little bit. I know you probably can see that. But, I'm on Facebook Live. And I'm public. Like, any anybody can pop on here and watch this right now. This company has been so good for that, too. It helps me keep, it helps me, like push past it and I don't know like not get over it but kind of help me step out of my shell because I was that girl in school that was panicked every time that she had a new class schedule and we had to switch classes like I had to have my routine I had to have my path to get there I I just I'm that way like I'm very like anxious about things and I'm very particular about things and it's hard it's hard to have anxiety it's especially when you're working with the public and things but through this and I've noticed that my skills are kind of you know they're growing and people are asking me to help them do their makeup and you know teach them to put a false eyelash on and stuff and I'm thinking well, why me? You know, I'll sit here sometimes and I'm like, and it's not like a, well, why are you bothering me? Why me? It's like a, oh my gosh, don't look at me. Why me? And then I think about it for a minute and I'm like, this is, this is helping me so much more than I ever could imagine. Um, I love doing makeup on people. I, I never thought in a million years that that's what I wanted to do. I never thought that I could be any good at it. And I'm learning every day. And, you know, anxiety's hard to talk about unless you, you know about it. Um, you know, I'll message people a hundred times making sure that we're meeting this day such and such time and things like that. Um, and I hate it. I hate having anxiety. But this, I don't know. There's something about... It's so encouraging, like when I get on here and you guys are talking back to me, and I know that the ones that are still here are watching me because you want to. Like I'm not 
like at first I thought, well, I don't want to go live and do videos because I'm going to annoy people. And, you know, I didn't want to annoy anybody. I, you know, you, you think about that. But then I started not caring so much about that because I knew the ones that wanted to support me and wanted to stick around would pop on and see why I do what I do. Um, <laughs> I can see my baby. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> but they, I mean... They're why I do everything what I do. Them silly pretty girls. But I rambled on here way longer than I was going to. Um, but just, you know, mainly what I wanted to say, no matter what it is that you do, have, have a reason and have a purpose and... Find something that makes you happy and is something that's just your own. If it's taking a cooking class, take a cooking class. If it's um, learning, you know, going to those where you can go to, like, to paint those pictures with your friends, like one of those paint art classes and stuff, that sounds like so much fun. Go do that. Um, make sure that you still have a girls' night with your friends at least, at least once every month, if not every two months. Like, just have something that's just for you. And makes you happy and that's the only advice that I can give everybody if selling selling unique makes you happy so unique you know I will share each other's posts you know we'll lift each other up it doesn't matter to me if you want to be in direct sales and you find a company that makes you happy girl go I'm going to be encouraging you a hundred percent you know that's just that's just how I roll like do you, you know, like you got owl hands. You're fine. Come here, you up here. here. Wanna say hi? Yeah. Don't don't bump the table. You'll not let me step over. Here's one of my here's one of my wives. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> it also um <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> but who else gets to bring their kids to work every day? You know, like as as people that work at home, you gonna pop your head over and say hi. Stop! They don't want to see lipstick right now. We're just talking. Hi. <laughs> but I get to bring them and work with me every day. Hi. How you doing? Hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy men's house kids. Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, and This one's in. still waiting on her teeth to come in. She oh, looks teeth. like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> heart! Yeah, they're giving me hearts. Well, they're probably giving you hearts because you girls are pretty. They mm. gave me hearts, too. Yeah. You like emojis? Yeah. I want to go get them. Well, I don't have any because I'm the one that's doing the video. I can't give myself emojis. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys are. And my milk chicks are my Squishy. milk. Cynthia likes Squishy. your missing teeth. She says you're adorable. Mm -hmm. Squishy. Oh, this is what we squishy. Thank Good. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, my video got took over um, by the most adorable assistant ever. What is this called? If I say so myself. I'm kind of boss, though. Mm -hmm. That's a highlighter, girl. Cheeks glow for days. Hi, Sure. So if you're gonna put makeup on, show them how in front of it. Can I sit down here? Yeah. Just quit pushing the table, please. Because the knock. table's broken. You know, you'll knock the stuff over. Well, she'll knock down the stuff and the table's broken. What's this? Guess we're saving up for a new table now. I found your own um, pencil. Thanks. <laughs> well, we're gonna go. We. I kind of got off on topic, but you guys get it. Fam I'm going to do my video. So, family's why we do it. Family's why we do it. Yes. And actually... That's what it's all about, guys. So... Huh? It's like a pokey brush. It's my lip brush, Sissy. Leave it alone. Is that but I appreciate you guys watching huh? me and supporting me. And this on you. 
and like you know share my posts and like encouraging much. me and I like it very much. thank you and, and what else? helping me stay at home with my kids like mm. I seriously this month I was able to pay I paid One. our electric bill Two. Oh, our water bill and our phone and internet bill because we have to have a phone bill out here in the sticks so I still have a house phone and I paid all of those plus had enough for a pizza party tonight and a pizza party we did didn't we yeah and we yeah. might have me and daddy might have a date this weekend no. I might treat him. He's been working awful hard, so. I'm going to see him do my video. Um, so, I mean, guys, I mean, that, it's just icing on the cake. You know, everything I've told you about. Lemon cakes. Minda's on my team. She's a Can beautiful person that I never Can probably. Can mm -hmm. make up in here? Go ahead and play with Sissy. No. We'll be quiet. Okay. I'm going to play And I probably would have never met Minda, and she doesn't even live that far from me. Like, and our paths have never crossed, but they have now. And I can talk to her and chat with her. And me and her, you know, we do sometimes. And I feel like I've known her for my whole life. She's just one of those people that you meet and you're like, wow, I'm so glad that we have this in common and that we brought together. And um, Ree's another one. She lives all the way out in Arizona. <laughs> okay, I never would have probably ever met her and she came across hey, one of my posts and I commented on it to, for me to message her and I did and she is um, so excited about Limelight loves the products and she's going to join our team soon and I can't wait for her to be a part of this little community with us because it's amazing but so I just candy. wanted to say that and I don't care we eat going trick or treating. It's you not time to trick or treat. Can you spell it right? And how do I spell it? B Y E. Ah! You just you got the right letters, but that's you know in a what nutshell. This called? Don't touch that. You'll turn it off. <laughs> but that's why I do what I do. Oh, you right. You what? Well, I like. Yeah. So, I will see you guys next time. And, again, thanks for all the support and watching me. And Chloe says bye, even though it's backwards to you guys. She said bye. <laughs> so Bye-bye. Bye. We'll talk to you next time.